What's up everyone, it's Trainer Dell, and in this video I have for you the Innistrad Crimson Vow Draft Booster Box. Just got this, you know, pre-release stuff early. Very happy to get this in, because I want Olivia so bad. Uh, I'm gonna put in. Hi. And it's funny, because Olivia is getting married in this set, and <laughs> <laughs> guess engaged. what, yeah. One of the reasons why I'm gonna be taking a vacation, I'm supposed to be. <laughs> We got, stuff coming we got out. so much in the holidays. There's just so much of everything. So this boost. Oh, remember I told you I hope they make the art? Oh, they did. <gasps> That's pretty sick. And there's a box topper there. So we'll leave that. I don't know, randomly. So randomly. randomly in the video, I'll just feel like opening it. There is how many packs? It's like 30, 32? I can't remember. I haven't opened a draft booster. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So three, 36 packs. 36 packs. There's Soren right there. Being all like handsome and stuff. But uh, we'll put this to the side and we'll start off here. All right, first pack of Crimson Bell. I am super excited. There's crickets in the background being a. Uh, no. Was it the audience? Being the audience, these packs are a little loose. This one, I don't know where they come from, but this okay. So, the spirit tokens here. This is oh, swamp. This the eternal nightlands. This one, oh, it has like the feel, and the rare will be in the front. Hive heart shaman that oddly makes weird. Um, I'll put the lands just kind of here. Put the rares, uncommons. Let me kind of get that in focus. Groom's finery. Small. Was this sheltering burrows? These are just the commons. Evolving wilds. Eh. Yeah. All right. We'll just kind of <laughs> do it like that. Maybe the mythics up there. I'm gonna try to go fast. Um. Since the rare is right in the front, there's no slow rolling this. Um, maybe a few packs look through the um, tokens and stuff. Oh, another swamp. Man, swamps. Creepy Puppeteer. Pretty cool card to get. The Human Rogue. The Hero's Dawnfall. Awesome, awesome reprint right there. I kind of need to put this to the side to remember. And then just commons. Oh, Gluttonous Guest. That's cool. Here. The hero's downfall. Is he in Eden or is he? I think that is it Audric? Yeah, Audric resisted the vampire first because he was a human in two sets and now he came back as a vampire in this set. And we'll see if he shows up. Oh the copy token. Ooh, mountain. Oh, this card is this card is going in your deck right away. It's an enchantment and does everything. <laughs> At the beginning of your combat, your creatures can get plus one plus one and gain trample. A target land can tap for three mana. You can draw a card for each creature you control with power three or greater, or you gain three life, which you'll probably never do. But it does so That's much. It does for one card. For one, I know it's five mana, but I'll put this up here too. Um, it is so good. And you, since you play like an enchantment deck and stuff, and you play big creatures, her deck plays like big creatures and enchantments, and enchantments to pump up your creatures. Mm -hmm. So mad, creature like you can have a bunch of squirrels that are like four fours. Oh, foil rare. Halana and Elena partners. Ooh, I'll put that up here too. Mm. More swamps. I like that. I like that. Oh, and then the land cycle. The land cycle. I'm, <laughs> I'll put you up here too. Cards I actually want to. That's the Orzhov one. Score piercing light. Ooh. So yeah, that's the Orzhov one. I definitely, definitely want to get the uh, the Boros one because I'm a Boros boy and I like the red, white. But I do play Mardu, so. Maybe you should cosplay him for the wedding. Soren? No, nah, I don't want to be Soren. Oh, Welcoming Vampire, really good. I want to be Olivia. <laughs> <laughs> a Welcoming Vampire. This is so good for white decks, obviously. That's such a good card. It helps draw, which, you know, card draw in the white. Especially when white's doing what it's supposed to do, which is 
making tokens or small creatures on the battlefield, you draw a card. It activates once per turn, but that's fine. Especially if you have a token generator. White Weenie has just a little payoff. All right, Forest. Howl Pack Piper. This spell can't be countered. You can put a creature card. This is really cool. This is definitely going in the Werewolf deck. Thirst for Discovery. Haven't seen yet any, uh, whatchamacallit, I don't know if the draft booster will have it. Any, any, um, vampire, or what is it? Dracula cards. I, maybe only in the box topper. I can't remember. The set booster could have Dracula arts. I'm not too sure. Werewolf. Wandering Mind Foil. And just put... Well, wow. Okay. This old Runo Strom Stromkirk decks could have this. That would be cool. Oh, the Mythic. This is, I think, the most expensive card right now. Because, okay, so Trample, its power and toughness is equal to the each land you control. Oh. But when you enter this in the battlefield, you can put a land from your hand to the battlefield, then draw a card and keep going. So if you have a bunch of lands and drawn to lands, this can get really big. I think this is like out of the main set stuff, not like any special, special like cards. That's, I think, the most valuable. So I don't play a lands deck. Um, Do you know anyone who does? I don't know. So I'll trade that. I want Olivia. So if I don't pull her, I'm trading that in for her. Circle of Confinement. A braid. Nice. Nice uh, reprint there. That's a good. That's a good hit though. Like I said I don't really care about the monetary value. Mostly I want to play stuff. Forest Graph Reaver. Oh, is this this is the exploit one? If you exploit a creature, you can destroy target creature or planeswalker. So that's cool. And it's one in a black. That's so good. Valor stands reprint. The Blood Petal Celebrant. Sigarda's Imprisonment. That's. Ooh, Blood Fountain. Create a blood token, sacrifice it, return to two target creature cards. I might actually. I might put that, I don't know, in my Olivia Voldaren deck. Because I don't play a lot of creatures, so getting any of my creatures back from that deck when they get destroyed or something. Ooh, Dragon Illusion. Oh, Olivia's attendance. I saw Olivia. I saw the word Olivia and I saw the fang <laughs> art and I got really, I got really like, ah, but Olivia's attendance, fang art. So that's cool. The fact that you can get the fang art um, in here. Oh, it's the kindly ancestor. She's really cool. It's the older lady and then she turns and then she helps the, so the grand, the, the, she helps the granddaughter out. I do like that. It's a really cute card. There's like, it's crazy because there's like hope. <laughs> there's like vampires that eat all these humans and stuff. But then hope. Ooh. Oh, the blood token. That's cool to have. Oh, foil swamp. Put that to the side. And then the mountain. Wow. Ooh, change of fortune. This is a card I wanted, especially in for my Chandra deck. Discard your hand and draw a card for each card you've discarded. And sometimes if you set up like with blood tokens or red has a lot of discard to draw stuff. So you can actually draw more than you discard uh, because of this. Oops, wait, that goes over here. So wolves. All right, nothing, nothing too crazy. Ah, uh, man, I'm actually getting cards that I... I do want to play, so I'm pretty happy so far. And it's only not even, it's only the first, uh, the boar. All right, we got another schwamp. There's, I'm actually getting, ooh, Katilda. So Olivia killed her in the last, <laughs> in the storyline, and now she's back as like a spirit. She's and then she revenging. flips, yeah. Oh, damn. It's, this is the, this is the Eternal Night art, and it's kind of scary, honestly. When I saw the art, I was a little scared. I'm not gonna lie. Bell belligerent guest. Alright. I need, I'm gonna just speed up. The next, uh, we're 10 minutes in. I've been taking my time, but I think the, the, next step. 
the next part oh piercing light foil planes lantern flare this is with the new cleave mechanic it's kind of cool Storm. the cleave stuff is cool all just kicker so i'm just gonna kind of burst through because that's one third and i don't really want this to be like a half hour long so all right we're just gonna cut through foil path to peril another cleave card i'm just gonna go just show off the rares and hopefully not destroy all these piles do you want me to do one is it okay no it's okay i'll help you Token. I destroyed this pack. <laughs> yeah, oh, they're just, very easy to open. Yeah. I just rip. Oh, they're right here. Yeah. Oops. Let's down a little bit. Yeah. Right, let's take this. Hey, inspired idea. She looks beautiful. Oh, I skipped one. The cartographer survey. And those are just comments. You can throw them. In this big pile. Ooh. <laughs> we'll, we'll strike. Spirit flames. Ooh, and Ruth. The oh, freak. You can look at this card. She is gonna be a cool little commander, like something fun and chaotic. Wow. So instead of drawing cards when you draw, you just exile the top two cards from your deck, and then you can play them. So you can't have, you won't ever have a hand. Oh, so wow. you kind of set up. I'll that's the eternal night art that's cool i kind of want to build it because my other is it deck is a uh, oh dying to serve is a uh, joyra and that's way too strong so oh late to rest whenever a human controls dies draw a card mm. so that's another good payoff for humans to help them like especially when you make a bunch of tokens like human tokens just draw cards swamp Shackle Geist. I have like pack stuff everywhere. Insect. Oh, Torrens, Fist of the Angels. He's cool too. He does the training mechanic, which I think that's the first time we see. Oh, Bride's Gown for Olivia. Do you get the invitation one in this one, or is it... The wedding invitation should be in this set. I haven't seen it. Oh, I think because I've been... I, I don't know. Maybe it's common. I'm just skipping through it. I might go through it right now. Yeah. We'll look through. Oh, the Cemetery Protector. This card's cool. Another mythic right here. When it enters the battlefield, exile a card from the graveyard. And if, whenever you play a land or cast a spell, if it shares a card type with the exile card, create a 1-1 one, one token. So this can work with the... The, uh... That white card. Blood Hypnotist. Ooh, this one's cool too. Let me see. What if we get the wedding invitation? Nope. I keep seeing this on the Blood Fountain. I keep thinking it's that. Maybe it's going to have a chocolate fountain. Chocolate fountain? No, Fruit Punch Fountain and just say it's blood. Oh, why? On all the kids. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, Gold Knock the Omnivore. It's the frog. The new frog commander. That's great. And it, I'm getting so many of these, like, the arts. Like the... So he's the froggy frog. He's so cute. Winged. What's this? Portent? Draw a card for each creature. But you can do the cleave cost and then now. It's with flying, but you can cut that out of the way if you're playing Simic colors. Because green likes to do it for each, you know, just for each creature. But blue's like, now they got me flying. But if you're playing like Wonder in like a commander deck, oh, the demon. At the beginning of your end step, sacrifice a non-demon creature. If you do create a token, a copy of this card, so you can keep sacrificing things and keep creating more of him. Wedding, 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 no. Ceremonial knife. <laughs> oh, oh. I mean, I know. Yeah, at least I cut down the time because we're almost done with the neck. This is, I think, third. Human Soldier, Militia, Rallier, and I'm actually getting Swamps. That's cool. Oh, here it is, the normal frog art. I don't like it. <laughs> like the, that one's creepy looking. This one looks like it's happy and cute. Like, that one looks... It's just... Uh, 
really evil. Thirst. Oh, he's her. Nope, still no. We're, still, we're not invited to the wedding. I hope we're, are we invited to our own? <laughs> I guess not. We technically, one. technically, we're not invited, right? Because we're the hosts. That's true, we are. But do we count ourselves? Mostensia in the uprising. Group? I've never been married before. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know if you know. Let us know if you know. <laughs> Are y'all married? Do you count yourself? Oh, that, the... is that the one? Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, deal one. Oh, I need this. This is another payoff in my Joy Storm deck, and it's also good. Just another way to help. And I might even just if I probably have more because it's a common. If I run it in a. Uh, other things but definitely oh and chandra too since i put a lot of non-creature stuff a lot of burn oh talking about chandra oh i need her too i need chandra this token goes with the tokens i need to keep to the side for us oh oh thalia oh, oh the eternal night thalia where all the zombies are trying to get her this reprint's really cool because this is a strong card and i don't think people know that now you can play it in pioneer Dang, death and taxes in Pioneer. Mono white is strong, yo. Not in command. I mean, it's getting better. It's getting better. And I only really play command. I don't really play standard except when it's on arena. But on arena. Oh, oh Henrika. Oh, nice. I wanted her too. Henrika Domnanthi. You can choose to do each play sacrifice creature. Draw a card, lose one life. Transform her. You can choose it. And then she goes into this one. Which has flying death. Has life link and can help other ones with all that. So it's cool. And then if you look closely. I think there's a portrait of Olivia back there. You guys can see that? You guys see that? Focus camera. My camera does not have autofocus. So like, sorry if like back. But this is. Wow. Each mythic has been pretty cool. Each one you uh, there's two that I want the most, which is obviously Chandra and mm -hmm. Olivia. So hopefully, I can pull one of them. Let's go. But uh, unholy efficient. Just throw that over there. Consuming tide. Hero's downfall. That's definitely gotta go up here with the cool stuff. And then the lands. Oh, it's creepy. Which one? This one? Oh, the Witch's Web? Oh, uh, it's a spider. Oh, uh, no. Nope. Runo Stormkirk would be cool to get. So I can have all the he the heads of the family or the mines. Oh, mountain. This little patchwork crawler. Scary. This one apparently can go infinite with stuff. So, because uh, you just exile two things that can go, that have activated abilities. Ooh, Edgar's Awakening. There's Olivia on the art, so I'll just kind of put that in my Olivia art folder. I see a lot of the... So far, the ring mythics have been pretty cool. But there are still some rare... There's a lot of cards I actually want from the set. Swamp. Ooh, yes! That is the Boros land I wanted. <laughs> this going right into my... Into my... um. Wyleth deck that is going right into it. I'm so glad. Oh, there it is. Wedding invitation. Yay, oh, we got. We're invited. We're invited. We got. We got there. See, I'll just put him down too. All right. Huh. Zombie forest cemetery gravekeeper. Oh, it's the red one in the cycle. Ooh, that's, that sounds bad. I don't know if we're going to get... <laughs> Hopefully we get one more Mythic, but I think that might be it for the Mythic train. Syncopate is kind of good. Actually, you know what? Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it right now. We're accepting donations of wedding invitations. <laughs> <laughs> also, Olivia Boulder and Fang Arts. Oh, man. Tell us what you think. I think this is a fun set. I like vampires. They're, I think they're my, I told you, they're my favorite of the horror tropes. Yeah. 
I do like the Dracula. Movie. Oh, it's Bram Stokers? Yeah. I also didn't feel I like it as much as I did, but I do enjoy one. it. Keanu Reeves. I, I'll rewatch it soon. I was trying to, and then. So. Ooh, Mina Harker, which is Thalia and Foil, full Monty stuff. So this is the art for, but Mina's the main girl, the one that he's in love with. Oh, and yes. then remember Dracula, like that's the reincarnation of his lost beloved. love. So. Mm -hmm. That's really pretty. Wow. Don't show this to Genshi. She might try to jack me. It kind of looks like her, her curly long hair. So that's cool. So not a mythic, but still a really cool card and like playable. Such a beautiful card. I need to sleeve that one up. That's definitely something I gotta put away. I'm like looking at it. Oh, Ballista Watcher. Planes, Dorothea, Vengeful Victim. She's so angry. She needs a nap. <laughs> She needs some milk. <laughs> Alright, we're almost... I think there's like six packs left. Yeah. So I kind of got through this portion pretty quickly. Human, oh, I need to kind of, I need to slow down, but there is the human and he has like a brace for his neck. He doesn't want to get bit because he's serving all the vampires. That's kind of funny. Ooh, by invitation only, I think this is a really good card. This is the one, choose zero and 13. Each player sacrifices that many creatures. That's cool. That's a cool new card. Oh, wow. <laughs> I got two in the same pack. Nice. What you, oh, look, look, look. He's like, oh, and he's a panic bystander. He saw murder. He's like, help, there's been a horrible murder, you know? But when you flip him, it was him all along. <gasps> it was Maximilian, was dude. I know, sus. He, he tried to throw you off the... His yeah, it was actually him the whole time. And he looks like Maximilian dude to me. Let's go! Wow, I got two of the cards in the twos. If that was Olivia to Olivia, dang. I probably would have ended the video and started running around like this. Oh, zombie. That zombie token with the stained glass is cool. Planes. Howling Moon. This is good too. An enchantment. At the beginning of combat on your turn, target werewolf gets two plus two or wolf. And whenever an opponent casts their second spell each turn, create a 2-2. Two, two. So this is kind of cool to help you keep more wolves. This is cool too as a mana sink. How much more packs? Four more packs. I'm just so excited. I gotta clean up all this. <laughs> treasure. Oh my god, I haven't seen the treasure token at all. That's that's trippy looking. You wanna see what the treasure is? Yeah. Here you go. Oh, another oh. foil rare. Runo Stromkirk. That's kind of scary. Wow, and coat this Lord of the Deep. Wow, Runo Stromkirk. There, I got him. I can put him in my... Uh... Wow, and they're all foil. I have Edgar Markov, Olivia Voldaren, Anji, 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 Falcon Wrath, and now Runo Stromkirk, all foil. Ooh, Headless Rider. Oh, look, it's the Headless Horseman. Ooh. So I got all the the lords, the vampire lords in foil. That's cool. I actually got Runo Stromkirk. I didn't think I was going to get him foiled, but that's what happens. More blood tokens. The blood. Mirhaw. What is this? Mirhaw Mimic? It could be last class. You think so? I think so. I hope so. Any invitations? Any invitations? Vampire kiss. Vampire kiss? <laughs> oh, this one made me laugh. Oh my god. Yeah, they aim for it. He's a zombie. He should be dead, but he's not. He has no brain. Oh, man. <laughs> I know there's different rules on Innistrad. On Innistrad, the mana's twisted. The human again. Laid to rest. Ooh, and foil. That's good cards to have in foil. Oh, the blue, the Simic one. Nice. This one's nice. All the full arts of these look nice. So we got three lands, and you might like this. I mean, Ooh. you don't play those colors, but I think you'd like the moon. The art is really nice. Oh, this reminds me of... So this is actually Olivia, this this thing here. But it reminds me of uh, when you defeat Lady Demistrew, Demiscu, and then, like, she becomes a little, like, thingy. 
<laughs> that we can like pull that what's his name um the man's up there markiplier <laughs> praise to last pack let's go oh, this no. this has been really happy for me just crimson Val, so cool i'm gonna be looking through all these cards right after and seeing what i'm gonna put in i've already seen some that i might add to my olivia deck but i know i need the commander products oh katilda donhart this is her normal art it's funny she's dead but now she has protection from vampires and she's helping with the celestis so sadly not olivia but the one she killed <laughs> she murked she got she murked her we'll get more packs I definitely will be getting one. Oh, this one's cute. Uh oh. Oh, baby. <laughs> it's just a happy baby. And all this gothic horror uh, just in the last pack. You know, just have hope. You know what? Maybe it's a sign. Let's just have hope to be safe. All right. Thank you so much <laughs> for watching. All right. Peace. Bye. Yay.